Oh, man, oh, man. What's the business? You already know what time it is. It's your folk, Marquis. Welcome to another episode of Keith's Reacts. That's right, man. Welcome to another episode of Keith's Reacts. You already know. Doing them reaction videos about the madness that go on in our world. Looking to change the mindset. So, this one, very unfortunate. This one is recent. Trying not to date the videos, but this one did happen recently. 44, 44 people shot over a weekend. This is just crazy. This is just absolute madness. 44 people shot over the weekend in New York City. Let's just get into the video and we'll talk about it from there. You ready? Let's go. Sirens and gunshots, crime scene tape littering the streets of several neighborhoods in the city after a violent weekend. Between early Friday and this morning, 44 people were shot in 25 incidents. Eight of them were shot at a gathering in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. News 4's Mark Santia joining us live in Bed-Stuy with what the NYPD says it's doing to curb this crime, Mark. And Natalie, you take a look around, you can see this is still an active scene. You see there are dozens of evidence markers on the ground, and there are dozens of victims in local hospitals. The aftermath of a bloody weekend across the city. Chaos at the Eleanor Roosevelt houses. Women and men loaded onto stretchers as first responders try to help eight victims wounded in a barrage of bullets. Firecrackers or gunshot noise, and you just woo, woo, woo. And then the helicopters came along. Daryl Walden saw the carnage outside his Brooklyn home. While this resident says he does not have all the answers to the surge and shootings, he does stress. We definitely don't need no defunding the police, that's for sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I think it's, it's, it's getting out of hand. The key is more gun arrests. We're at the highest level of gun arrests in 25 years. More cooperation between NYPD and community to get the information that PD needs for those prosecutions. In case you hear anything, or see anything from last night, uh, right. we want people to feel safe and contact. Okay. As detectives search for clues, the NYPD's Community Affairs Rapid Response Team looks to build trust and calm fears after a weekend of violence and another mass shooting. But it's really important that we come out here and just calm people down after something like this tragic has happened in their neighborhood. Tackling the surging gun violence, Lieutenant Cherise Sanders says it's about police and community working together. We're here for them. We want their neighborhoods to be safe and just to, to help us help them. Back here at this scene, eight people were injured in the shooting. We're told all are expected to survive. Just got off the phone with police moments ago. They tell us the two gunmen, they're still on the loose. All right. Let's go. So it was a lot that went on there. One of the biggest things is the mindset of urban blacks, hood folk, whatever terminology you want to use. There's so many layers to it. You know what I'm saying? So, for instance, gangster rap music has perpetuated, in my mind, in my, in my observation, perpetuated stop snitching, like the stop snitching culture. You know, let me, let me see where I can go from this because there's so many layers. So, let me, let me, I'm going to just go down the ones that I can think of. All right. So, for as long as we can remember, there's been police brutality against blacks. So, you got white cops that will come into, you had the KKK that would come and raid and hang black men, you know, do harm to black women. You had then just the sheriffs and the police that would come in, do wrong to black men and males. You know, uh, we look at the Watts riots that kicked off. We look at Rodney King. We look at so much that has happened uh, with the police against blacks. So that does cause a level of schism or separation in the hearts of blacks first. Then you have, you know, 
uh, the police playing the evidence and just doing all types of wrong uh, to the black. So it gives that distrust. Then you have, um, and yes, there was a black, you know, lieutenant, police lieutenant. Then you have things like, again, gangster rap music perpetuating. So stop snitching. It's, it's interesting. I've always heard individuals say this. It just goes to show the twisted mindset and mentalities that come about. Like one of my goals is just to, to give as much clarity as I can to people, get them other perspectives to, to take into consideration. Stop snitching or don't snitch. You know, stitches get stitches, all that snitches get stitches. That's from like gangster street culture. That does not apply to civilians. <laughs> you know, it doesn't apply to civilians that are law-abiding citizens looking to live an honest life. Yeah, you might smoke your little weed and you might gamble, play your numbers, run your numbers, whatever. But I'm talking about straight gangster street culture. If you got gang members or you got people that's just, you know, street guys, street gals, or just participating in street activity, committing crimes, that's where that law, that rule abides and, and applies to those individuals. It don't apply to Miss Johnson who, you know, outside watering her garden and she sees some activity going on. It don't apply to her. It don't apply to, you know, my Keisha who, you know, little girl got grazed because, you know, May May was shooting at Tay and just being reckless and grazed Little, little Tasha, you know what I'm saying, or, or whatever. You know, it don't apply to it. Don't apply to her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she might mess with a dope boy, or and I ain't trying to be stereotypical. I'm just giving for real life situation. You know, but if she go to work, she paying her bills. She's a law abiding citizen. It don't matter. She smoke a little weed, and she, you know, don't it. There's no snitching if she says, man. He had on this, he had on that. They shot my baby, blah, blah, blah. However, this the culture of stop snitching has come from the, you know, the streets into the music and perpetuated and blanketed. It. So it's like no matter what type of crime goes on, it's not to be spoken. Also, you got the realistic fear threat for gangs and other individuals that will do harm. You know what I'm saying? Two individuals that may give information to the police. So it's so many unfortunate factors, man. I mean, I see so much self hatred. Excuse me, with 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 our people doing this. And again, I got messages of hope for anybody of any color. However, I have been charged to deal with people of color. So when you see something like this go on, 44 people shot over the weekend. It's like, man, what's going on now? One thing that you never really see largely is the street politics and the 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 what's going zones. You know what I'm saying? It could be beef. This hood could be beefing with that hood. Or this gang could be beefing with that gang. This set could be beefing with that set. Like, you know, 44 people is a lot of people. Again, eight people got shot at one event. Eight people got shot at one event. Probably was a party. They was like, man, the party going on around there. Let's slide. Let's ride over that jump, wet it up. You know, that's not new. You know what I'm saying? Again, if it's beef, they ran there. They outside now. Man, let's go spice the joint up. Let's go blah, 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 woo the woo so these things do happen. That's why I'm really launching Going Hard with Lord Save My City, uh, putting together some serious marketing and, and, and things of that nature. My goal is to reach every city, you know, every major city and, and whatever minor cities as well, whoever orders them. But uh, truly just doing my part, the book overstanding, just pushing, you know, to, to bring a message of maturity to millennials and their minors in an effort to create the perfect citizen because truly this does have to stop. This does have to stop. You know, and it, it starts with with people, it starts with people like you. It starts with people like me, sharing these videos, liking these videos, commenting on these videos, uh, purchasing the book, getting the book out there. 
Made a few sales this week. Felt good. Uh, one young lady was reading the book. She was like, man, messing around with you. I stayed up late, you know. She had just got the book, and she read up the page 94 in one day. So it is causing impact, you know. We just we just got so much work to do, man. This is this is not acceptable. It should not be like this. It's your phone, my kids. You already know what time it is. Click the link below. You can order the book, Overstanding. Uh, you get the shirt. You get the shirt. You get the book free. Click the link below, LawrenceMyCity.com. You know, support. Support. This, this is bigger than money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I truly want to impact lives, and I do care because how can we grow and develop as a people, as a culture, and move forward if these are the type of activities that's going on? What is it truly that we're showing our young people? You already know what time it is. Like, comment, share, and of course, please subscribe. Click that bell notification so that you get a notification every time we drop a video. You already know what time it is. Think different or live different. God bless.